Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. It's Dave here, and it's time for me to do another painting. So this is going to be the third one in my horror icon series. The first was Pennywise, the second was Sam from the Trick or Treat movie, and this third one is going to be Billy the Puppet from the Saw franchise. I'm going to be using uh, red. Only a few, uh, only a few paint, uh, paints for this painting of black. Uh, I'm going to be using titanium white, uh, raw sienna, and uh, yellow here. I'm going to draw the, uh, or you know, give an outline of the painting I'm going to use using my zebra Dur, don't no Delgard uh, mechanical pencil. So here I am, I'm just going to give it a, a rough drawing here, just so I have a basis to follow as I paint along. The drawing really doesn't turn out as well as I had hoped. Uh, I don't know why, I just couldn't couldn't get the angles right. And uh, But uh, I think the final painting represents the source image of a, a lot better than this original sketch. Hope everybody had a uh, nice weekend. And uh, everybody's getting ready for summer here. Uh, finally, we're getting back into the uh, warm weather. At least uh, it's supposed to be really hot this coming week. The other night we watched the, the latest entry in the... I guess you can call it the latest entry in the Saw franchise, the movie Spiral, which starred Chris Rock. Um, Billy the Puppet was not in that movie. Um, he was not. It, it's sort of a loose, I guess, loosely connected to the Saw franchise. Um, it deals with uh, sort of a copycat killer. And uh, to put it I guess, gently, it was the worst movie I've ever seen in my life. I don't know if you've seen it. If you haven't, oh boy, I really do not uh, recommend it. Chris Rock, I don't know what he was thinking. Uh, his acting was just... It was as bad as I've ever seen it. So again, I'm just giving the basic outline here, just to have something to follow. Once I start applying the paint, the lines sort of uh, go away uh, anyways, but just so I have it in my mind where things need to be. So I'm going to go in here with a little bit of titanium white and um, some midnight black, just to make a sort of a, a very off-white, almost gray, color to give uh, the dummy his his face it's, it's more of a white you know in in the movie it's more of a white color but um, I wanted to make it a little bit darker for the painting here Just getting in the basic uh, outline, you know, like the filling in most of the gaps. I'll sharpen it up later as we progress through the painting. And I just add a little coating of white here and there. Now I'm doing some contouring on the nose. Uh, the, the doll has a very pronounced nose, almost resembles Squidward, uh, you know, from the SpongeBob show. And here I'm just putting in some black to highlight the, uh, his eyebrows. He doesn't have so much eyebrows as just raised, I guess, you know, just raised skin on the, on the brow area. So I'm just getting in some shading there to represent that raised part. Now I'm going in with straight midnight black to uh, get in fill in the eyeballs 
you know, Billy the Puppet. He has those black eyeballs with uh, the red center. There's no white in them at all. And I'm just using the leftover black just to continue along with the shading. The light source is coming from the right hand side so I'm, uh, I'm trying to get the shading a little bit more emphasized on the left hand side of the face. Taking some more midnight black and just uh, filling in the, uh, the, you know, all the deep black in the eyes, making it as opaque as possible. I'm just going to fill in the rest of the areas in the painting that uh, used or calling for the midnight black, like his hair um, and his suit jacket. I'm using an angled brush. To do this part because it makes it easier to get a you know follow the lines along his face so it doesn't bleed too much into his actual face you know if you're familiar with billy the puppet he has that kind of a bob hairstyle In a previous video, I asked who you would like for me to paint next, and I got a couple of people asking for Dracula, and um, that is actually going to be part of the... I'm going to be doing a Universal Monsters series once I get finished with this uh, grouping of characters that I have planned to paint for this series. This this initial series is more of, I guess, the modern, um, you know, modern horror icons like Pennywise and Sam and and Billy the puppet here and there's a couple other ones that uh, are more modern uh, horror movies. Now I'm just going in and filling in the red areas uh, like his eyes and his lips, and his bow tie, um, making them as deep, deeply red as possible. Oh, and I, I forgot I did his shirt next with the white. Just getting some paint in there. Also helped to sharpen up his little chin. Now I'm doing the bow tie here. some titanium black to the brush just to get some shading where the bow tie has its folds. I'm going to attempt 
attempt to do the cheek spirals by hand here. I'm just giving a real loose uh, tracing of it. Just so I have a sort of a template to follow when I thicken them up. Spirals actually turned out better than I had thought they were going to be. I thought I was going to have a, a difficult time keeping it together with these spirals, but they actually wound up pretty good. I was happy with it. titanium black again and do those jet black pinprick eyeballs for the center of the eye. I forget what that part is called. Maybe the iris? Ah, oh, pupil. That's it, pupil. And I'm just going in with some titanium white. Uh, the do it is a doll, so it, it is does have like a glossy uh, coating to its... Uh, skin I guess and so I'm just going in with a little bit of the white to uh, pick up some of the light and some of the shiny aspects of the face For the background, I mixed some uh, yellow with some raw sienna and a little bit of titanium white just to make it a little bit of a darker yellowish color. More of a mustard to help uh, really make the uh, figure stand out. In the previous paintings, I did a black background, but this you know, this painting has so much black in it between his hair and his suit jacket, I couldn't use it, so I uh, went with a mustard yellow. I liked how it turned out. And here I thought it was done, but then I forgot to, I forgot to, to do the contouring on the lips. So I'm going back in now, getting some shading and, and just emphasizing those lips. The bottom lip is especially pronounced on Billy. And I'm going back in with the titanium white just to get some of that shine. And uh, that's going to do it. Here for Billy the Puppet from the Saw movie. I'm just going to go in and just add a little bit of shading in for his collar. And um, yeah, so that's it. That's my, my latest addition to my horror icon series, Billy the Puppet from the Saw franchise. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you want to guess who's going to be next, please leave me a comment in the section down below. If you like this series, 
I appreciate a like on the video, and uh, if you haven't already, uh, please subscribe. My wife Kelly does uh, a lot of videos. She's going to be ramping up her production again here soon. We've been moving her art room, so a lot of stuff is in disarray, so she's going to be coming back very soon. And uh, again, uh, on Mondays, I hold my weekly rune casting just to give uh, some divination for the week ahead so you can sort of maybe get some guidance. So if you're interested in that, please stop by on Monday and uh, I'll have a rune casting for you. So yeah, again, that's it. Billy, the puppet, uh, again, I'll see you guys next week on Monday with a rune casting and maybe, oh, uh, here's a, here's a series so far again. So, and it's the latest. So I'll uh, stop by next Monday for a rune casting and I'll see you next week with probably another painting. All right, have a good week. Bye-bye.